Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Techopolis. I am your host, Renovate, and today, guys, we are going to start on our, uh, what is it called? I think it's the Advanced Technium, I think is what it's called. Advanced Technium, yeah. We're going to try to do this. So, last episode, guys, we ended off doing these Aqua Bricks, which we have right here. I didn't automate it, but we said that we were going to automate it today, and now that I see how this works, uh, I think I have a, I think I have a, a plan, so... Uh, between episodes, I went ahead and set up this. This was actually part of one of our quests. If we went back in and look, it was actually, I think it was back here somewhere. It was one of these. Uh, it was an older quest. Maybe it wasn't really that old. <laughs> Maybe it was right here. All right, so it was the dynamic tank, and I had no idea how the dynamic tanks work. And so I had to look it up. So this is from Mechanism. Uh, the smallest that you can do is a three by three, so which is what this is, and um, you have to have the import and exports pointing towards where the liquid is. So there's a there's a hollow block in there, and then these are two glass panes, and then yeah, so that's a tank. That's the smallest, and I think this holds for every block. I think it holds something like twelve thousand. Don't 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 uh, take my word for it, but it's somewhere between twelve thousand and sixteen thousand millibuckets. So basically, twelve to sixteen buckets uh, of fluid. So in all, this is like close to like four hundred and some buckets, uh, which is awesome. So all of that you can't see it, so I don't know where it's going, but it's in there. I mean, it's in there somewhere. Uh, you can kind of see it in that glass over there, actually. I can't get through. Oh, there you saw it right there. So it's going in there, but this thing is, uh, it, it, there's nothing going on, so I don't know if, if it's just a graphical glitch or what's going on, but I don't think there's enough in there to actually measure, all right? Also, I did this, um, and I'll go through this real quick. So I made another one of these things, okay? I wanted to try to automate the first round of uh, the ingots, this thing over here and the only thing we're missing is um the bronze so let's go some grab some bronze let's just grab a stack all right and then i'll show you how this works and i wanted to see if it was possible to automate this not that we need any more what are we missing we shouldn't be missing anything oh we're missing the, the treated wood um I, I wanted to make sure that we could automate it i don't think, i don't even think we need any more of that stuff i'm not quite sure uh, let's see. I don't have any wood, so let's, let's get a couple chunks of wood and put this in here. And I'll just show you real quick what this does. So we'll go, we'll go do this over here real quick. There might even be some in here. Nope, there's not. So, but yeah, so I'll go through this. This is another one of those, uh, very cheap to make. And then we put the uh, igneous extruder here, which actually makes the cobblestone. Okay. And the cobblestone goes up the tank. It took me forever to figure out. I couldn't remember on a vanilla furnace. Uh, how you automate it. <laughs> so apparently you can't turn it off, which is a problem, and I'll explain that in a minute, but you can't turn it off, but you can pump uh, your fuel source into the sides. You can pump your, your input from the top, and then the output comes out the bottom, all right? So the way that that works is the cobblestone goes in from uh, the igneous extruder, this thing here, the cobblestone goes in, fills up this terminal right here. I can lever that. So if I turn this on, you'll see that it'll start filling up. All right. So here it goes in and it starts cooking them right away. All right. This, I took just one of our coal things and input it into the side since we have two extra ones here. And this thing's full, by the way. Um, so the coal comes in here, it burns it. Okay. And then on the back side, comes out here and then it goes into this chest now this chest is full and then we have it importing into here okay it automatically knows where to put it here which is cool and then so we don't use our our um, lapis for anything else so it's just coming in here it's sitting in this buffer it's full and then it'll go in here and then this is the power and this is just getting powered through coal um, I don't know why um, it shouldn't be burning at all. No, it's not. And then, uh, of course, we got the uh, flopper on top holding the water like we did over there. So that's where the water source is coming from. And over here, I just moved this. This is the one that was sitting over there. So I, I put these stupid hedges and then I realized you can't jump over them. 
So this is the cl this is the clay one that gives you all the stuff to make this grout. All right. So all the items are coming through into this factory. So this is just a little automated factory thing. You put the recipe in here, you click the button to store it, and then it does its thing. It doesn't need any power. And then all the grout's going in here. And then from here, it goes into here. This probably doesn't have any fuel, which it doesn't. And then, of course, this thing does its thing. It's automated. It pumps it in here. We have all these bricks here. And then the bricks go into here, too. All right, so that is how you would automate the first ingot that you need. Pretty simple, pretty compact. And we're going to try to do the same thing for the second one. Uh, but it might take us a little bit of time. <laughs> so over here, uh, I was running out of ingots. And so we have everything being smelted up here. I haven't been using this. We're really good on power. I got two of these things running. Uh, I think one of them is actually empty. Uh, that one's good. That one's empty. Okay, that's fine. And then, of course, uh, this is doing nothing. And then this over here is just doing a crap ton of tin, which it's almost done. So I needed the tin because we're going to be start making um, some alloys here pretty soon. Let's just throw that in there. So yeah, and then uh, we got the tree to work and all is well in our little neighborhood. I moved some stuff around, made some roads. Uh, this pack has taught me that you uh, can't always be doing stuff uh, with as far as questing like you gotta wait <laughs> like a long time uh yeah so that's why i use these hedges and did that kind of stuff so today enough jibber jabber today we are going to make another one of these okay and the only reason we're doing that is because i f I'm, I'm thinking that i can set up one of these that's just got water going into it and then it'll pump the water out into a bunch of these little basins Okay, so if we put a bunch of blocks and we automate that, we'll make a bunch of those and then we'll have those sent over to one of these that will have the lava in it. And so when the lava and those water blocks meet, you get the, you get the um, obsidian and that's what we need. Uh, because if we go into our book and we go to here and we look at the recipe for this, uh, it's right here. So we need obsidian. I can make these gears, this invar. We have a crap ton of invar already. Uh, the aluminum plates. We haven't been using aluminum for anything. So I'm going to automate that. We have tons of steel and then this. All right. So that's why I've been making these. I don't know how many we need to get to the next level. And what I'm, what I mean by that is if we go back to, let's click out of this. If we go, uh, back to this, um, it's not really what I'm looking for. If we go to the next tier, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, how many of these do we need? Cause these all require the two ingots. Okay. And so if those require the two ingots, then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got here's six. So we're going to need six times two to get the new miners, the minor threes. So six times two, so that's 12. All right, so we need 12 off the bat. And then to make this one, we're gonna need, uh, well, that would be, that would be including the 12. So there's 12 that we need, that we know for sure of. Let's get off of this. And then what else do we need in this section? So we got uh, nothing there. We have the better storage. So we'll probably get into that later on. <laughs> Thermal machines. I think every one of these machines requires, yeah, it requires these two. So we're going to need quite a bit, but I think I want to get the first 12 done so we can go ahead and get the ores started because that's going to give us basically the rest of the ores. And I am actually going to move all of this. I do have the, uh, the new pick. So I used some and you can already see it's already lost some of its durability. That's because I had to move. Which one did we move? Um, what did we move? We moved something. We moved one of these. Um, oh, it was the, uh, it was the lapis. The lapis was sitting right here. So we moved the lapis from here to here to get it closer. So that's what we moved. I was like, man, I know I moved something. But yeah, just that little bit, uh, that's how much durability it took. So I don't know if we can repla replace those things or not. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. And in order to do that, we need a bunch of these, which the good thing is we have a bunch. So we're going to take all of these out. Okay. And then I am going to grab some charcoal from over here. So let's grab, uh, 
Let's just grab. Uh, that's probably enough. It only takes. It only takes um. One stack to get this thing going. So we'll go ahead and put that in there and get that started. And this thing will keep on doing its thing. And we'll put the rest of the charcoal in here. All right. And then let's eat. And so we're going to make another one of those smell trees. And I'm actually going to build it right behind the other one because we're going to need to utilize that lava source over there. So let me get that built real quick and I'll bring you right back. All right, so I got this thing set up over here behind the other one. I'm going to sleep real quick. Um, I should just I should just start recording after I slept, but that's okay. And I'll explain what I've done. So basically, I got four um, four pouring spouts. What are those called? Tanks, whatever. Um, that are going to. I got four of these these drains. <laughs> I can't remember the name. So I got four drains. I got one on the corner, and then I got three across the back. And then we just put this here. That way, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to use this lava, and I wanted to have it pretty close. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And then in this box, we're gonna pull out all of the blocks, like what are, what's in my hand, and then we are going to shoot those into here. Okay, but I don't want it to go into that like that. Okay, so and I probably don't need that so they're going to go into these four here and then once this thing fill we're going to fill this with water instead of lava and once this thing pours the water on top of them they'll automatically get shot down into here so we need to make four switches basically and then we need to get the water source running and we're going to make the ocu ocu oculus it's not the oculus quest oculus um what is it called? Knock the ingus extruded oculus, whatever. We'll look it up. <laughs> I forget what it's called already. It's called the accumulator, oculus, oculus accumulator. I think it's actually part of one of our old quests, maybe. Um, no, that was the ignis extruder. It could have been in one of these metal presses. Uh, it wasn't in there. Moving stuff around. It's not there. Or is this it here? No, it's a tinker's workbench. It looks like this um maybe it's not in here at all so we're gonna we're gonna make it regardless so let's go ahead and make our switches uh one two three four and then we can have i don't have any sticks no i do so let's do this and this put that there one two three i think we only need four i believe and then we will set up a water source over here and start pumping this in with water and this thing can take off and we don't have to worry about are you freaking kidding me are you freaking kidding me? My God, man. I guess I got to light this up over here. Jeez. That could have been, that could have been devastating. That could have blew this whole freaking floor. I mean, there's lava right here. What's the deal? All right. Uh, F7. I think F7 is what it is. It used to be F7. Maybe it's not F7 anymore. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the, the spawn rates are. So this is back, right? <laughs> All right, so we got that, and we got to put all our switches on here. So we'll put a switch there, 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 and there. Turn these all on. So these will all be pouring out. This will be sucking the blocks into here, and then we just need to fill this bad boy up with water. So let's... Uh, you know what? Since we already got this set up, we could actually go ahead and use this and just pump this in. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, let's see. We need to get some buckets. Let's put everything that we have in our inventory away um okay that's fine and then uh where are our buckets are our buckets in here somewhere oh do you guys like this i played around this is that wood from that tree right there i was just playing around uh let's see if we can find our buckets maybe we don't have them oh by the way you see this fire charge magma block blah 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 i went over to where is that see that little island right there that's one of those broken nether portals, and I grab some obsidian, and the obsidian is, <laughs> it's probably in here. Yeah, it's right here. I got eight obsidian, and what I was trying to do is, that's all that was there. I know there's another one that's over here on this side. I wanted to see if I could make another portal. We'll probably try that a different episode, but anyways, um, I need my buckets. Uh, wh why, why do we not have buckets? I mean, I made a bunch of metal. There they are. I was going to say, I made a bunch of them. All right, so let's go here and get our water. Let's jump up here, up here. Let's grab, grab that, and grab that, and then we'll just fill this in. All right, cool. And so we'll just rebuild this over there. I don't even think I'm gonna make it this nice. We're just going to um, 
We'll just do it without all the fanciness. We'll take that tank. Uh, okay, that's cool. So let's go over here. All right, I'm going to literally build it like right here. And I want the uh, flopper to go right into this like that. And then we're going to put a block here, here. And then um, yeah, let's go get some more blocks. Actually, let's just take these. We'll get these two things built. And we're going to automate. This is basically going to automate the, the obsidian in this episode, pretty much. So, yeah, we did that wrong. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're going to have to make that uh, uh, the Oculus thing. Oculus, Oculus. That's a hard word to say. Okay, so let's go in here. Uh, it's called the Aqua mm, Accumulator. This thing right here. Isn't that how I spelled it? Maybe not. All right, so we need redstone uh, recipes too large to fit in the two by two. Oops. Yeah, it, it would be because I'm not doing it right. So we need some redstone, probably some iron. We're getting low on iron already. Jeez Louise. Okay, let's do this. Got one of those. Uh, what are we missing? What is this? Copper? One, two, three, four. Let's go like this. And we're missing the bucket, which I thought we did. We don't have an empty bucket in us. Nope, they're both full of water. Okay, and we got that. Okay, I don't think this requires any power. I don't think... I shouldn't say that, but I don't think that it does. So basically, I need to... Man, why does that not work? I guess it only works under the void. That's kind of stupid. All right, let's do that. Let's go up here, and then we'll put this here. And then we'll fill the, that side with water, and then we'll fill this side with water. This should work. Okay, and then we'll just... Uh, let's see, fluid pipe. Huh. What am I doing wrong, guys? I know it's the wrong burning source. I need to get water into there. How do we get water into this? I'm totally confused. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm totally stupid. So you pump it in like this. Totally stupid, All right? So this is gonna get pumped in through the side here. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking it the other way. So we're gonna go like this, All right? That's pumping that in. So that's gonna fill the actual thing in. And then we're actually gonna take this lava here and you know, I could just put the tank there for now. I don't know how much I don't know how much we're gonna actually use. I don't know if this thing can keep up with what we have. Let's go. This is that's pretty far away. I wonder if I could put that on the corner. It'd probably be better if we did that. Hopefully we don't lose everything if I do this. Well crap, I didn't want to do that. Ugh. Good thing there's not a lot in there. Ugh. All right. So I think I could put this on the corner. Dang it. Ugh. All right, so <laughs> let's grab this, put it here. Nope, wrong one. <gasps> I filled up with water. Why did it fill up with water? Oh, because that stupid thing there. That sucks. It means I gotta go redo it. I don't think I can pull the water out of that thing. I don't believe so. All right, guys, I think we have everything that we need. Uh, why isn't these iron ingots going in there? There we go. Uh, I don't need any of this crap, so I'm gonna put some of this crap away. That, that, actually we need that. Uh, is it the seared bricks that we're doing? I don't think it's a seared brick. I think it's just these blocks, stone blocks, isn't it? Let's just put all this stuff away real quick. And this, and that noise you're hearing is my doorbell ringer. All right, so, so we're gonna, wrong button. Let's run over here. Let's grab a bunch of stone, all right? And I don't know how many we need. Uh, let's just do that many for right now. All right, I think we're I think we're ready. Let's go over here. I think this should work. Maybe we didn't need the lava in there, but the smeltery is right. Um, let's put these in here just to test run this. Yes, yes, that is how it works. All right, so this one needs turned reset. It's not very fast, is it? All right, and then this one needs to be reset. And so that's making our blocks, right? Awesome. Yeah, it's not uh, <laughs> it's not the quickest of processes at all. All right, so now that we got that working, now that we got that working, we got these blocks down here, okay? I'm going to set this thing up. This is the fluid crafter that we were using over on the other side. I just didn't want to make another one right now. I'll make another one uh in our other in our in our off time. So, I am going to put let's put the power um, let's see how we want to do this because we're going to pull out of here around into this and then discharge into this. This has got to have lava in it, which is going to come from that. So maybe, maybe we move it over to that spot over there, a little bit closer to the lava, like right, um, actually, you know what? We could put it right here. 
That'd be a great place to put it. So that's going to fill up with that. And then we're going to take these uh, logistical pipes. And we're going to do this like really quick because it's going to want to put them into that. Uh, yeah, let's let's just do this. Uh, actually, let's just do that this way. Let's come out of this side. And then we'll go up and in. All right. And then we'll go like this. So that's pulling those in. All right, sweet. And then the only thing that we need is this. But you know what I was thinking is we could use a magmatic dynamo. How much does it cost to make one of those? Because that's actually part of our quest. And if we did that, we could just kill two birds with one stone in this video. And it's right here. So let's do this. Let's do A. And then we need an Invar gear. So let's grab one, two, three, four. Is that four of them? Okay. If I take this and I put this hopper here... This will work with this will work with the tinkers because it actually will uh, allow you to output four at a time. That's what one of the problems that we were having. All right, and then uh, what did I do with the constant? Um, there it is, right there. So we do have it. So let's uh, let's go to the magmatic dynamo. Dynamo. Need two more in bar. All right, let's go back. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Okay, so cool. So instead of using uh, another power source we can just use this to fuel itself oh god no 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 uh, oh jump in the water oh, oh come on oh come on i jumped in the water all right this has been a gr this has been a great episode it's probably gonna be like two hours long i got all my experience need to get inside this thing what I'm gonna die again. Oh my god, that's all blood in there, guys. It's all my blood in there. Yeah, that's blood. <laughs> oh my god, is it still working though? All right, it's still working. Jesus. All right, here's the magmatic dynamo. We'll put that on there. We need to flip it around. That was a horrible experience. That was that what that was like life altering experience. All right, let's do um, mechanical pipes. We need the mechanical pipes, and then we'll go from that to that as well. And that's creating. <laughs> this is so janky. It's so stupid. All right, so if that's the case, then I can go. Um, can't take that block out. We should probably put that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's take that off. Let's remove that. And then let's put that like right here on this corner. And then we need to rotate it just like that. And that's working and it's creating stuff. And then all we need to do is put down another chest like this. And then we are finally done. It's not pretty, but it's a thing. Isn't it lovely? Oh my god, guys. That was the worst episode I've done in, like, forever. But it's done. We're automating the obsidian stuff. And we can uh, mark that off our checklist. Actually, before you see my pretty face, let's go back into this. Let's click this. And did we get credit for it? Are you kidding me? I didn't get credit for it. Or did we already get credit for it? Oh, we did. I just didn't see it. All right, cool. Back to my pretty face. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smack the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the, come join me on Discord, because I, I might need help in this pack, guys. And if you're good with Minecraft, come over there and, and tell me what to do. Uh, but yeah, I need to get the blood out of there. I don't want any blood blocks. And uh, you can still see it there on the top. That's pretty. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'll see you next episode. It's been fun.